I either use this thing, this headband, or hair pins, hair clips. <laughs> Someone's stalking me. <laughs> and while I was saying that, I just got a notification that they messaged me. <laughs> I know you're watching this. I know you're watching this. And I know you're going to leave a comment also. Since you're so obsessed with me, how about you help me buy a new laptop? Because <laughs> my last one exploded. I don't know if you heard, but my laptop, the battery gave out. I knew it was going to give out for like a long time. Like literally like two years I've been joking about my battery, my laptop battery exploding and dying. So I knew it was going to happen. And even though I knew, look, I knew it was going to happen. So I started saving money. And I only saved like 200, because I don't get a lot of money. I don't have a job. <laughs> I saved like 200 pound but then I was like my laptop's fine and I need clothes and food so I ran out of money and then I had to spend those savings on food <laughs> and uh so I knew my laptop was gonna die at some point and yeah I still spent the money I was saving to buy a new one and even though I knew my laptop was on its way out I don't have a backup of most of my shit most of my shit like my photos on that laptop specifically it's, there's i have a lot of writing that's it's not saved on like microsoft word or anything it's not saved on something that like uses the cloud <laughs> i don't even know what the fuck that is like i'm bad with tech i'm like a i'm like an 80 year old using a computer i know what it is i know what it does but it's very scary and confusing so i have a hard time backing up my shit and trusting that it's backed up if it's on like physical external hard drive, I can deal with that because that's ancient technology. <laughs> but whatever the like cloud is, I don't even know what that is. I sound stupid saying it. I sound ridiculous saying it because I don't know what it is. Anyway. To the person watching this who found me on all social media and messages me every single day, Maybe, you know, you can send me some money. <laughs> I know you want to. I know you want to help me buy a new laptop. Because, listen, if I have a new laptop, I can make um, animation. I don't animate anymore. I've been thinking about getting back into it. I really have been thinking about getting back into it. Because I've been watching X-Men. The animated series. I don't know if you can tell. It's not like I've been referencing X-Men in every single video in the past month. <laughs> but uh, I've been thinking about Doom Patrol. <laughs> if I can go off on a tangent. I've been thinking about Doom Patrol and how the series got cancelled. Because it, like, I guess it cost too much money and it wasn't getting the views that they wanted. Wouldn't it be cheaper to make it a cartoon? In like the style of not X Men, I feel like I want to sound like an asshole. Like I feel like it's an unpopular opinion to say that the X Men ninety seven animation isn't good, but I don't like it. I feel like it's simplistic. I feel like X Men the animated series from the nineties. It looked bad at the start, but I loved those character designs and I like how it looks like the comic, but on, but you know, moving. Especially season 4 and season 5. I made fun, I literally made a video being like, oh, surprisingly smooth animation for X-Men. But that was season 2 or something, but now I'm on season 4 and it's literally, I feel like I'm watching anime. Like I'm watching an anime. That's, it's like, it stepped up its game. At some points it was giving me Aeon Flux vibes. No, at a lot of points it was giving me Aeon Flux vibes. And I was like, did Klasky Chupo had something to do with it? I feel like Gabor, Gabor Klasky, Gabor Chupo, I feel like Gabor Chupo had something to do with the animation. I don't know why, I was just getting those vibes. Because there's certain like close-ups of, of people's faces whenever they're talking. And before their faces would look like they did in the comics. But in like season 3, 4, 5, I haven't got to season 5 yet, but season 3 and 4. Their faces look a lot like a Klasky Tupo uh, character. <laughs> the way they have those like small noses. And it just looks a lot like something from Aeon Flux or 
Dogman or Rugrats, you know what I mean? Like Klasky Triple Productions. I sound like a crazy person right now. <laughs> anyway, I googled it. I googled if Klasky Triple had anything to do with X-Pan and they don't. Marlene Klasky and Gabor Tupo has nothing to do with X-Men, uh, X-Men, the animated series. Which is so surprising because it really does look like that style. Like, I, it, there's a noticeable shift in the style of animation and in the, the design. Not the design of the characters, but in, like, the close-ups of their faces specifically. Whenever they can get more free with the expressions and stuff. It looks like... Who was the guy who designed the characters for Aeon Flux? Mike something? Mike Chang is the guy from Glee. That's not it. <laughs> oh, Peter Chung. Uh, Peter Chung did the... It's his cartoon, Aeon Flux. Did Peter Chung have something to do with X? Like, like it's... He has to. I have to, I have to get to the bottom of this mystery. Oh, I didn't finish my thought. <laughs> okay, so X-Men, the animated series, uses the comic book character designs and like frames and stuff in their animation in how the whole show looks it's literally it just looks like a comic wouldn't it be really cool if there was a doom patrol if there was a doom patrol cartoon that had the exact same look and it looked i feel like it would do better if it looked kind of ancient like it was from the 80s and doom patrol is fucking weird their tagline is literally the what is it? The Earth's Strangest Heroes or some shit? Like, it's weird as fuck, and in live action, there's gonna be budgetary restrictions in making giant robots and sucking people into the void and, like, these, like, 10 million sets, but that would work a lot better in animation, so why didn't they just make it a cartoon? No, like, obviously live action, it works, right? Like, a DC live action show is gonna get views, and the cartoon, I feel like, would get less views. <laughs> But since you already did the show, and there's enough people, enough people liked it, I feel like bringing it back as a cartoon, a lot of people would get excited about that, me included. Especially if it looks exactly like the comics looked, like Grant Morrison comics. Not the modern, once again, I sound like a dick. The modern, the modern comics look great. They look wonderful, but it's not nostalgic because it's modern. I feel like you need that nostalgic edge of like, like 80s Doom Patrol. And even in the 80s, it had like a 50s feel. And I was going to do those like taking a scene from, taking a scene from the Doom Patrol show and making it a, an, my brain stopped working. Taking um, a scene from the Doom Patrol TV show and animating it in the style of like the Grant Morrison comics or the modern comics just whatever style I feel like <laughs> whatever style I feel like there's been a lot of um, artists who did that shit